Richard Armitage joins me now from his home in New York, where it's got to be, what, about four in the morning, Richard? It's, it's 4.30. 4.30. Thank you for either staying up all night or getting up incredibly <laughs> early. It's so good to see you. It really is. And congratulations. Sorry I'm not there. Oh, I know. Thank you. I Thank know. Con you. Congratulations to you. Uh, number one on Netflix. And again, working with the, with the author, Harlan Coben. Um, and that was very successful the last time as well, wasn't it? It was. The Stranger did really well for them. And uh, yeah, we're really happy that Stay Close is, uh, I think it's number one in, in 43 countries. But wow. I can't believe there was a, a WhatsApp group. Nobody told me about that. Oh, no. Are you not in the WhatsApp group of all the cast? Seriously, are you not? Maybe, maybe it was the, maybe it wasn't, maybe there wasn't a WhatsApp group. Let's just forget about that. <laughs> it's just I'm not. Um, now. Talking about the cast, what a cracking cast you've got! You've got Eddie Izzard in there, Sarah Parrish is there, James Nesbit, yourself, Kush Jumbo, wonderful people to work with. Brilliant cast, and it was so nice to reconnect with Jimmy after the Hobbit and Joe Joyner after. I think 17 years ago from North and South, Eddie was a, a dream and, and Kush was great to work with. Yeah, we're so lucky. And I've wanted to work with Sarah Parrish for forever. So yeah, we couldn't stop talking on set. I'll bet, I'll bet. Now look, Ray, who you play, the photographer, who's um, gone through yeah. the war, a war photographer, bit of a lost soul, really. Um, but you did more than just create the character because you you even had an input into what his room was like, the kind of equipment that he had, and those tattoos as well. That must have taken ages to get all of those tattoos. There were so many of them. Yeah, it was really fun um, creating the tattoos, actually, because we just thought, what kind of thing would he put on his his body to try and piece together his memories? So we used little yeah. little maps and, and sort of parts of locations that we so, thought we might be shooting in where the, the crime happened, and we kind of developed them into a tattoo. And then, then the locations changed, so the tattoos didn't quite match, but uh, it was it was great fun to to create a visual character like that. No, absolutely, and I think that's a, that, that is so... It doesn't happen all the time, does it, Richard? It doesn't happen all the time that you can have such a huge input into the character, you know, that goes beyond just, not when I say just acting, you know what I mean, but, it, but to make the character even more rounded. Yeah, and I think it was something to do with the fact that I've worked with this team before and the production designer, that she was so much kind of fun. She sort of emailed me and said, have you got any ideas for what kind of books he might read or what food he might eat? And I said, yep, here's my list. And I started uh, email mailing her. And then when I got to the set, it was just brilliant because it felt like somewhere that I'd been living for years. And so I just flopped down on the sofa in between takes and uh, watched the crew set up their shots. So it was it was brilliant. I loved it. Oh, it's fantastic. No, it's really good. And Harlan Coben, of course, hugely successful author. He's got this deal with Netflix for umpteen dramas. Do you, would you, could be three in a row maybe? Is, is there any indication as to what's next for him and, and, and for the team? Well, I'm seeing him next week, so I'm going to try and pull his arm to maybe maybe let me have a third chance. But uh, it's unlikely. But his his books uh, ju just apply themselves so brilliantly to this genre and, and developing into screenplay. He's so open to new ideas and he always puts like an extra little twist in the end or a new subplot. And I also think setting them outside of America gives his brain a kind of fresh approach. So yeah. Uh, he's just a great guy. I love him. No, that's true, because in the book, it's Atlantic City, isn't it? But here, it's Blackpool. You, Blackpool is used as the town of Livingston. Yeah. Um, and that's interesting. And when, when he comes over, you need to take him out and show him where it's all been. Yeah, I mean, he unfortunately, he didn't make it to set this time because he's so hands-on. So we were trying to describe to him what Blackpool's like. So... Uh, Next time he's in England, I'm going to do what we did when I was a kid, which was to go up on a bus in the middle of November to see the uh, the Blackpool yep. illuminations. So uh, that, that'll be my treat to him. I used to do that as well. That was a big thing for everyone in Glasgow. The, the September weekend, you used to come down and see the, the Blackpool illuminations. Yeah. And my dad still says, Most if you leave, night. you know, if you leave a light on in the house, my dad says, what's this like? It's like the Blackpool illuminations in here. <laughs> my dad always says that to make us turn the lights off. They always do that. It's so you were, you were Christmas in New York. How was that? I was I was actually Christmas in Utah. Oh, um, I went up a mountain. Yeah, so did a bit of skiing and then and then back to New York to to help out Harlem with some of the promotion for the show and. Uh, 
who knows what next year will bring or this year now 2022 who can i know it i know you, it takes a wee while to get used to it the fact it's 2022 and um, it's so it good to talk to you thank you ever so much for for staying up so so late or getting up so early <laughs> <laughs> it's just so good to talk to you and and stay close uh, the, the only good. thing the only thing about stay close is if you watch one episode you need to you can't no you just have to keep going you just have to keep going but it's so good to That's see you point. thank you Thank you so much. Nice to see you, Lorraine. And of course, as I said, stay close on Netflix right now. It is right at the top, you know, when you log in. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.